Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to jump back to 2001 and relive Neil Hodgson's second go at competing in the World Superbike Championship. His ride, an evolution of the Ducati 916, the 996R. Neil Hodgson started riding motocross bikes at the age of nine. He quickly showed his talent and it wasn't long till he swapped dirt for tarmac and started racing road bikes. In his first full year of racing he won the British 125cc championship in 1992 at the age of 18. This achievement really impressed Honda. He was offered a ride in the 125cc World Championships. Neil at the time was one of the youngest ever competitors in the championship. His results weren't not as he expected finishing 24th. Even so, he was offered a ride on a 500cc Yamaha machine from Team Harris WCM and finished the season in 11th position. Still only 22, Neil was offered a dream deal in 1996 with the factory Ducati Superbike team. It was a frustrating three years in World Superbikes. The last year was with Kawasaki. Neil not happy running midfield, he left for British Superbikes in 1999. In his second year, he won the British Superbike Championship in 2000. With this achievement and his experience, he thought it was time to try out the World Superbike Championship again. He showed that this time he was ready with a win in Donington Park and finished the year third overall in the championship in 2001 on this very bike. This would only be the start of a great Superbike career. Neil Hodgson was riding a customer Ducati 996RS, not the 996R as this model is labelled. The 996R was the latest bike from Ducati for 2001 and it was reserved for factory supported teams only. The 996RS was supplied to customer satellite teams like Team HM Plant Ducati who Neil was riding for. It was basically last year's factory bike carried over with some updates. Even so, Neil Hodgson was able to produce some great results up against the likes of Troy Bayliss riding a factory Ducati and Colin Edwards on a factory Honda. Neil finished 5th in the World Championship and the best of the non-factory supported riders. It wouldn't take long before Neil would impress Ducati enough for a second shot on a factory ride, but that is a story to tell in another video. And now for a quick model review. Overall impressions are quite good and I like the combination of this shade of blue, silver and orange. The details and scale are good, other than the minor detail that this model is the 996RS and not the factory 996R. Paint finish is great but there is little blistering of the decals on the side panels. If you like this video please let me know by liking, commenting and subscribing. For more videos like this and others that review the World Rally and F1 Championships, I'll leave you with a link to Colin Edwards' mini history video and his Honda VTR 1000 SP1 of 2000. Thanks for watching, till next time, cheers!